ready to fly the steerman? Let's do a quick walk around before we go. The Boeing PT-17 Stearman was used as a military trainer throughout World War II. After the war, thousands of surplus Stearmans were sold into the civilian market. Many of these were converted for use as crop dusters, a few of which are still operational around the islands. Others are in the hands of aircraft aficionados and airshow performers. The Stearman's great flying qualities, good looks, and open cockpit have made it a true classic. You ready to give it a go? Climb on up! Take a look around, you'll see that the panel is fairly simple. Pilots use a checklist to help them remember all the steps required to safely operate an aircraft. Go ahead and bring up the checklist. You can manually perform the checklist, run the checklist automatically, or skip it completely. Since we don't have a lot of time in this aircraft, I'll run through the checklist with you and help you out with the steps. Here's the engine start checklist. Brakes, apply and hold. Throttle open to one half. Mixture to full rich. Okay, ignition on. Battery goes on. Starter on. And we have ignition. Throttle back to 800 RPM. Oil pressure looks good. Propeller control, high RPM. Alternator and radios on. Brakes released. Notice how hard it is to see over the nose when on the ground? You can look over the side to get a better view. Go ahead and try it. to get us moving. Go easy on the brakes in a tail dragger like the steerman. The tail can come up and flip the plane, so stay aware of that during the takeoff and landing. Stop here and I'll run through the before takeoff check. Elevator trim set. Mixture is full rich. Prop RPM to full. Altimeter is correct. Oil pressure and engine temp good. Looks good. Taxi onto the runway and I'll walk you through the takeoff. When lined up and ready, slowly add full throttle. The tail will rise on its own, and a little up elevator will have us flying at around 60 knots. And we're off! Pitch to climb out at 80 miles per hour, or about 70 knots. We'll climb straight out to 500 feet and then do a little sightseeing. Five hundred feet. Level out and maintain this altitude. Set the throttle for cruise at 85% or 22 inches on the manifold pressure. I'll pull the propeller back to 1900 RPM. You may need to trim the nose down as our speed increases. Elevator trim sets the aircraft's pitch for specific airspeed. Trim down or up until the aircraft flies hands-off at the desired attitude. I see 
a cruise ship coming into port. Let's make our way out there to get a better look. airplane with an open cockpit that lets you really enjoy the scenery. Whoa, you got a little close. Hopefully we won't get in trouble for that. Now that we're over water, feel free to put the plane through its paces so you get a good feel for its flight characteristics. or fly an aerobatic routine at the local air show. When flying sightseeing tours, always fly to the right or the left of the landmark so the passengers get a good view. Let's fly to the right of the river so we can circle the falls to the left when we get there. to the left and then we'll start looking for the airport. We want to start heading back. Rainbow Falls is 80 feet tall and ends in a natural pool surrounded by wild ginger. Straight ahead is Lakahi Park. Use the park as a reference to line up with runway 03. Look for the track and several baseball diamonds. perfect landing in a tail dragger is a little more difficult than in a tricycle gear aircraft. Landing hard on the main gear pushes the tail down. If you're carrying too much airspeed, this results in a bounce, or two, or three. So make sure you're nice and slow with a no-tie attitude before touching down. This is called a three-point landing because all the wheels touch at nearly the same time. Runway 03 to your left. Go ahead and start turning left to light us up for landing. Time for before landing check. Mixture to rich. 
Prop RPM to full. For the landing, our approach speed should be about 75 miles per hour or 65 knots. runway over the nose on the approach. Some pilots make S turns to keep the runway in sight, or you can just look over the edge of the cockpit. make S turns while they taxi to keep a good view out front. in front of the hangar. Great. Stop here. I'll run through the engine shutdown checklist. Throttle idle. Prop to low RPM. Ignition goes off. As the engine quits, Move the throttle to full. Electrics and battery, off. Great flight. If you want to come back and fly some sightseeing flights, check the job board. <laughs> 